what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now, this is the show where we're going to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out that PC, but above all, make it cool. Now, today is actually a special day because we're doing Pimp My PC, the Mac edition. Now, I'm not talking about the Mac Daddy or the Macaroni. I'm talking about Mac OS X. We're going to get started on it, guys. Docs today. Now, if you're running Mac OS X, you've got the dock. Leopard kind of prettied it up a little bit. It's 3D, got that nice gray color to it. Meh. We're going to show you one of the most basic mods with the dock. It actually comes with the OS X software right out of the box. Simply go to your Apple menu, click on the dock, and you can move that guy to the left or to the right. And what you see is when you move it to the side, it changes it from 3D to 2D. But 2D versus 3D is a bit boring. So what we're going to do is show you the meat of this pimp. We're going to do some dock mods, some DIY dock mods. Now, if those words make you as nervous as they make me, don't even sweat it. Because not only am I new to Macs, but I found out that pimping OS X is not only easy, but fun. So we're going to get started on that right now. Now, the first thing I did was try to look for some cool dock mods. And where I found them was at this website called DeviantArt.com. Now, one thing to note is these are user-generated mods. So be careful when you're downloading them. You can uh, look at write-ups on the authors in that just to see who you trust and uh, pretty much stay consistent with the same authors if you like what they're putting out. Now, what I actually grabbed was a red dock because I'm really feeling the red this season and man, it just looks so slick on leopards. So let's get started on, uh, on showing you some DIY dock modding, guys. The first thing that you definitely want to do, and I learned this the hard way, is you want to make a backup of those core service files that are in your dock. Uh, if you don't, you will shed tears. I promise you this, you will shed tears. So the first place we want to go to, I got a little cheat sheet here because, man, this path is long. We're going to go to system slash library slash core. Jeez, Matt, you know what? Just flash that up for me, buddy. This is ridiculous, all right? So I actually already happen to be here. And what I have selected already, if you can see, are the files that we're actually going to be changing for the mod. Now, these are core service files that actually come with the Leopard OS, and that's how you see your doc just standard. So what we're going to do is replace those files. Now, some of the other files that I've replaced as customization within customization because I just couldn't help myself are the indicators on your doc. Now, the indicators are these little glowing dots down here at the bottom that, you guessed it, indicate what applications or utilities that you have open. So what we're going to do is pimp those as well. So as I said, I've already got my, uh, my core files that we're going to be switching selected. I'm going to do a command delete. Now, because they're core files, you're going to get prompted for uh, admin access. We've got it. Go back over to my red doc. I'm going to do a command A, command copy. Go over back to our resources. Command V, pop in that password. So now all the files have been transferred over to the core services. Now the final step in that, and one of the most fun I might add, is just opening up your terminal. Now if you don't have it in your dock like I've got mine, just go to your spotlight, type in terminal, and that'll bring it up for you. Either way you can get to it. So now the command that you want to put in, now it's case sensitive and that's important to remember as well, capital K-I-L-L. A-L-L -L space, capital D-O-C-K, kill all dock. We're going to hit enter. That's going to restart my dock, and look at that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful red dock with those black triangle indicators. It's going to go perfect with the other OS 10 pimps that we're going to show you in the later episodes. Now, one other thing concerning docks that I wanted to show you was some software that I actually downloaded from the Apple website. Pretty cool stuff, guys. It's called Dock Spaces, and what it does is it allows you to run multiple docks, which actually can come in quite handy and I'll show you how. I'm going to bring that up. Now you've got your general, you've got your general options, options as well that show you like what kind of dock style you want. Do you want a 3D environment, 2D, left, right, that sort of thing. Now the docks itself, really cool. It's really pretty easy and intuitive to get going guys. And you can see I've already got three there that I've already mapped and I'll show those to you guys in a second. Uh, but to, to add a new dock, you just go down to click on a blank space right click on it and you literally click on add new dock and what that's going to do is bring you a default dock down another cool thing is you can see is it kept my mod it kept the red dock with the black triangle indicators so that's really cool as well so now I'll show you why I think it's really useful um, I've already got uh, the, the three that I've created already hotkeyed uh, to my keyboard here so literally command 2 is going to bring up my social dock and it's going to be in a 2D environment just because I got it on the side but that's just for more of my ease of use you can make it 3D if you want so you can see that beautiful red pimp um, but the reason why it's my social dock you can see I've got Skype here photo booth for sharing I've even got bookmark sites down here in my dock just for quick of, or ease of use I got Twitter Flickr Facebook all right there at the click of a button 
Command 3 is going to bring up my media dock. And that's going to bring up iTunes, Front Row, my DVD player, uh, QuickTime. So again, guys, media right there at the click of a button, very cool. And then to bring up my standard dock, Command 1, and there it is, right back to normal. Pretty useful tool, guys, and I'm sure you can find a use for it as well. Like I said, Pimpin' OS 10, easier than it sounds, and my God, is it ever fun, guys. And we're going to be showing you a few more of those in the next couple of episodes. That's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out butterscotch.com for today's show notes so you can pimp that OS 10 on your Mac. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!